Hey internet, Harris here. So my first full school year at college was under a computer science major. And so I took two semesters of computer science, first semester being Python, second semester being Java. And with me the whole time was my trusty iPad Pro 11, uh, the newest version. Of course, this would still be a very similar video if we're talking about any other modern iPad, but I use the iPad Pro 11. So here's my experience using the iPad Pro as a computer science major. So obviously note taking is an integral part of any major and I've made many, many videos talking about note taking on iPads. So I implore you to go check out one of those videos and you will find lots of resources and lots of information about how I use this iPad for notes. And to put it simply, with the Apple Pencil, it is rather incredible the kind of notes you can take, the depth, as well as just the recording features. And I've used GoodNotes Notability for many, many months each with this iPad. So yes, this will do great for taking notes in class, but you wanna do more than notes as a computer science major. You want to, well, code. And first semester, it actually worked pretty well. So in class, I used Pythonista, which was a great app for Python. It allowed me to test code and even run it. It's not going to run everything that your computer is going to be able to do, but just about everything and even graphics that it can power. And there are demos on the app that can show you that Before we go further into this video, if you want to learn computer science without a classroom or without a professor or any other subject or interest, the stock market, sewing, video making, whatever it is, check out Skillshare and the link in the description will get you a free two month trial. So no reason not to try, just get a free trial, try some different courses. They've got thousands of videos and millions of users on an online community to help you learn things on your own instead of paying tons of money um, in a classroom at a university, thousands and thousands of dollars. You can pay a small monthly fee and check it out for free using the link in the description if you're interested in Skillshare to learn something new for yourself. And thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this. And of course it was very, very quick. There's a lot of power in this iPad and just for trying out things in class, this worked well for me. I didn't really have a whole lot of issues. I could even save things into iCloud Drive so I could pick it up on my computer, work on it, save it, and then it would go back to my iPad. And that also worked very well. And I was impressed by that. Now where this falls short, would be when you have to do file management. Now, files has gotten better with iOS 13, but at the time of using this, and even still with iOS 13, Python um, and Pythonista really will struggle to get files from uh, really deep into the iPad. So for instance, we would do Word files, and this isn't going to be able to process those Word files and pull out that information and find it, even if your program is compiled in the same folder as whatever file you want to use. So in terms of that, there is some decent Python that you can do on this, and that you can run it and work on it when you're on the go, but there's limitations because of the file manager on iPad. So when I got to second semester, it was a very different story. It's going to be very hard to use something like Java on an iPad. It just doesn't have that desktop style uh, app design that would allow for an objective oriented programming language. So you're not gonna be able to get Swift, so you can't really make iOS apps from here. You're not gonna be able to use Java on here. As a computer science student, this is not a machine that I could ever use primarily uh, for programming. If you're trying to use this full time, you can probably get away with it for Python, but if you're doing something like Java, you really might not, you really won't be able to actually. So at the end of the day, this does make a good complementary device to a desktop or a laptop computer, but while it's still running, it's mostly mobile OS, it's going to struggle with uh, programming. And there's a lot you can do with it, but not everything. And I still needed ultimately, and at the end of the day, my computer for file management and working with different files in my programming and in my code, as well as for Java altogether. So if you are a computer science major, you can get a lot done with your iPad, but you're still going to need a Mac or a Windows laptop to get the most out of it and to really go into more serious code and processing. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about my year in computer science at Boston College with using the iPad Pro or my 15 inch MacBook Pro, let me know. I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.